If you operate in the coaching space or you're looking to position a brand that is based around your expertise in working with people, then you're probably going to find this story about Joe Davidson interesting. Let's get you all inspired by taking a look at how a unique combination of my services worked for her business. Before we get going with Joe today, I'd love to take this moment to invite you to subscribe to my channel, especially if you're in the coaching space. Like I just said, I work with a lot of different coaches and all of them are quite different when you get into the nitty gritty of it with them. They have different specialisms and most importantly, a lot of them have very clear, varied personal missions behind why they do what they do, which is usually the juicy part of showcasing their brand with them. As well as sharing case study results like we're going to look at today with Joe, the channel is all about getting into the science and methodology behind good branding strategy. And I make that content, especially for small business owners who are looking to grow a brand that reflects who they are, as well as help them make some money. Don't forget, if you hit the bell, you're going to get notified every single time a new episode comes out. I first met Jo back in 2015. And since then, she's always stood out to me as the type of woman who just cuts right through the BS of business and life. All of the copy that she puts out in her social media posts and her emails is incredibly personal. And I think because she's brave enough to go there, that's what makes it so powerful. Jo got back in touch with me to let me know that she was after something really creative for her next set of brand photography images. So we sprang into action. Here are all the different steps that we took behind the final images and the strategic branding work that we did together. In your own words, Jo, what was it in our working together on the initial shoot plans that made you decide you wanted to go ahead and incorporate the brand and strategy piece that we ended up working on together? I felt like I was kind of fumbling around trying to find some answers as to, you know, what I wanted. And really, I didn't actually know what I wanted. And I needed somebody that I could trust to sort of pull that out and figure out what did I actually want. <laughs> on the other side, it was like, I don't want to sort this out in six months or, you know, I don't want to sort of take weeks and months just kind of trial and error in it and hoping for the best. I just want somebody to just like give me the answers. <laughs> and that leads me on beautifully to my next question. So let's talk a little bit more about doing it all in one intensive day together. So we already decided that we're going to do the photo shoot. And I was like, okay, but, but now I still need this other part done. And, and we're already like, we're there, like we're ready to sort of make the photo shoot happen. And I'm like clueless as to what I want. But, and I, again, it's like, I don't want to dilly dally. I would rather just get it done. I feel like there's more, there's like more focus on it when you do that. I feel like when you do like a bit and a bit and a bit, you kind of lose the focus, you lose the thread, you lose the enthusiasm as well. I'm, I'm terrible for losing enthusiasm for things if I don't just like get them done. So it was just absolutely perfect for me. And be honest with me, what were you expecting to come out of that day? I mean, I'm not entirely sure that I even knew what I would come out with. I trusted you, like, to figure it out. And, and that's what you did. Like, I knew you would. That's, that is your professionalism. That is your expertise. We talked about so much stuff, so much stuff that I wasn't even aware of that I was doing, so much stuff that I wasn't even aware of that I wanted in me brand you know I come out of it at the end I'm just thinking how on earth are you going to turn that into anything I think the, the main reason that I wanted to do it when I'm briefing to people in the future for other things you know I want a website rebrand I can literally just go there you go and they can get it and I don't then have to figure out how to explain that to people because you've already done that for me so absolutely perfect so now that we're at the other end of it and you've organized and you've got a fully codified brand by that I mean a robust brand guidelines document how do you feel now about the implementation side of it all yeah I mean I just I feel super relaxed about it now it's like I can just I can bring anybody on board for example with the website like I, I will be employing somebody to, to re you know redo the website like there you go off you go <laughs> do your thing the most 
important thing for 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 me for my clients you can always make more money but you can't like get back the time just hire a bloody person to do the thing for you especially if it's somebody that you know you can trust to do it Let's move into how the strategic side works when it's implemented. Um, I'm going to turn you over now to Nicola from The Wardrobe Provocateur. She was the stylist that worked with Joe on picking out what were the right outfits for shoot day. So what I love about working with Laura on the full shawami, and I've worked with Laura on many occasions on this service, is it's absolutely, unbelievably fantastic. I said uh, we cover so much. Laura's really great. She sends mood boards over because obviously my part of the styling part is really important. So I need to know what the client's looking for as far as her brand's concerned, uh, her style. And also I get a kind of a good measure from what the client's looking for from me. And that's what's really great about working with Laura on the full shawami because I get all of that. And then I get to have a chat with the client as well, Joe. In the shawami, we have to kind of create five outfits, but it's very important during that process that we also, when we create the outfits, that we look at the longevity of the outfits. So it's really important that we kind of go into the person's wardrobe because it's very personal space and it's really important that they feel that some of their wardrobe still represents them. Now, Joe was really funny because one of the things that Joe said was, you'll find nothing in my wardrobe, but hey. I always find something. So we managed to find a couple of items in um, Joe's wardrobe that we used. But then obviously part of the full shawami is we do a personal shop as well. So we go out and we actually start to look for outfits either online or in person. So uh, we managed to visit many stores, uh, Mint Velvet. Uh, we also bought an amazing red suit and she's quite a sassy person. And we wanted to kind of get that over and convey that in the messages of the outfits. And we definitely did do that. We definitely did. So we kind of got the rock chick vibe. Love the fact that Mint Velvet actually have a similar ethics to Joe. And I thought that was a really great um, synergy with her brand. So Joe's very much a trouser person. So I needed to keep that authenticity for her because, again, it's always about being comfortable in front of the camera. So we picked bright, vibrant colours. A lot of her brands were included in that. We also kept the sassiness and the rock chick. She said to me, you'll never get me a leather jacket. Well, I did. We got one from um, Next. Joe was an apple shape. Now, if you are familiar with body shapes, we've all got them. Um, and one of the things that we need to use, accent for an apple shape is their leg. Joe has amazing legs. She really does. Now, I know Joe likes to wear trousers as well as dresses and things. So we needed to kind of um, showcase that. So in one of the first parts of the shoot, we definitely did because we found um, an amazing leopard print short dress from our wardrobe. I went to Primark and I bought her this belt, sort of enhanced her waist. And then we put her in these amazing boots from Mint Velvet. It showcased Jo how she could look rock chicky, but also her amazing legs. And I love seeing the client's face when they feel happy that they're showcasing something they feel confident about. And it really resonates with me, but it also resonates in the camera as well. On photo shoot, it's not just the outfit, it's the shoes as well. The shoes, the jewellery and accessories, they can make or break an outfit. In order to make sure that the outfits looked amazing, we had to wear some heels. So we introduced some leopard print, which was really great with the red suit. And also we introduced a, a beautiful velvet shoe which had some sparkle on and it went with this beautiful green dress. Be authentic to how Joe feels. We did also do the relaxed look. So obviously, you know, if you follow trends and things like that, and it's still in now, trainers are huge to wear with a, with a, with a, um, a jean or a, or a suit. So it's kind of a, it, it's, it's a style right now and everybody does that. So to keep the authenticity with Joe, we did make sure that we did put her in some kind of platform um, sneaker which actually was only from Primark again. And they looked amazing. And obviously, because we've been going through a transition of change, because we've been staying at home a bit more now, you know, heels, people weren't wearing a lot of heels. Uh, but I think we're now turning a point now where people are starting to think about heels and you're actually seeing more heels uh, within the retail outlets now. People are now sort of looking at heels and things. But I think that... Um, I don't think heels will ever lose their longevity. I think they'll always be a part of people's wardrobes. But I definitely think that sand shoes and sneakers are definitely here to stay and uh, should be part of everybody's photo shoot because they're fun. You can have so much fun with them. I love the one where Jo's actually with her arm resting on the windowsill and she's got the very thing that we've talked about, which is the T-shirt. 
the red trousers, which again brings her brand in, and also the leather jacket and the flat trainers. But what we did was we vibed it up a bit. And I loved that with the curly hair and the bracelet and the, pushing the sleeves up. And it just looked, I just loved it. It was just a beautiful, natural shot. And then my other one was, to be honest, was on the roof. Jo likes to wear sunglasses on her head. So we, again, we needed to incorporate that into her uh, brand. So there's a shot where jo has got a beautiful red suit on that we, we got. And then the leopard print heels. And she's actually standing on the roof. And it's just beautiful. And I think it, I'm sure there's a ladder there where she's got a, sort of one leg up and she's got her sunglasses on her head. And it just looks like Jo. And you could feel the confidence, you could feel the comfortableness in front of the camera. And it was just a perfect shot. Yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed uh, my interview with Laura. I can not recommend Laura enough um, to work with. I mean, I love working. We have so much fun. It's not just about the client, but don't tell the client that. <laughs> we have loads of fun. And obviously, if you're looking uh, for a service, um, then you can connect with me on Instagram. So you can find me at The Wardrobe Provocateur. So if you want to connect, learn more about me and connect with me, you can also do that via my website. So you can find out about my services, find out a little bit more about me and about uh, why I became a style coach, which is really great. So you get to know me a little bit more personal as well. So you can find me at www.nicolaenglish.com forward slash style slash style services. And here is what happened on shoot day. This is the power red look. Say hello, Nick. Hi. We've been waiting till the 11th hour for these smoke bombs today. And I've just had a phone call from the courier that he's on his way to drop them off. So we're going to go out and meet him. And then we're going to start doing smoke bomb shots. We've wrapped just as the rain started to set in. And all in all, amazing stuff. I haven't done as many stories as usual. I think that's because it's been a while since I've done a shoot this full on and really needed to have my head in the game. Um, but all in all, a real success. I'll send some uh, results as they start coming out. Okay, Joe, I've got another question for you. What's the one thing that you didn't expect that happened on your full Shawami photo shoot day? I think the biggest thing is how much bloody hard work it was. <laughs> I mean, you guys just worked solidly. I was exhausted. Like, I mean, brilliant, brilliant thing to do, but it's a, it's a long day actually, and there's a lot goes into it. And you know, I'm just standing in front of the camera, posing, and I'm bloody knackered. So, <laughs> you guys just worked and worked and worked. It's just unreal. Um, and just all the different props, and you're like running around after us, treating us like a supermodel. <laughs> I was like, I quite like this. I quite like having a personal prim fair and <laughs> a personal makeup person just like keep on touching us up and that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I think that was the biggest surprise. I mean, I've I've seen them before, of course I have. I've seen, you know, I've, I know people who've done them with you before. I even I considered having one done with you years ago and it just didn't feel like the right time. Um but yeah, I think I think that was the biggest surprise was just how much work goes into it and like like some of the ideas you came up with, like I would never have come up with. Here's a quick preview of how these images are currently sitting on Joe's website. I love how the graphic design side of it feeds into both the colorway and the outfit and the overall energy that we were able to crystallize from the branding strategy day. Anybody who is interested in finding out more about my work, the best place to get started is um, by downloading my free Ultimate Guide to Empowerment. Uh, which you can get at the powerhouseunleashed.com forward slash ultimate guide. I actually ended up making the decision to sign up for a copy of this myself. And it actually raised some really interesting questions that I need to work on answering about me. So I'm happy to personally recommend this to any woman in any sort of leadership capacity who's looking to try and feel a little bit more empowered as a professional and as a woman of our time. Thinking about the idea of what it feels to be empowered or just empowerment in general then, Joe, I'd love you to talk about um, 
how you felt on the full Shawami photo shoot. This is, you know, being photographed is very vulnerable to a lot of people. And I think especially to women. Um, do you want to talk about that a little bit? We are powerful women. We are empowered. Um, most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> But there's something very vulnerable about being in front of the camera. Um, and like for a whole entire day, like, the, I mean, it's probably harder at the beginning, actually. It probably gets easier as the day goes on. Mm. Um, but there's something like you feel a bit daft, to be completely honest, like stand there posing for like all these photos. You do, you feel a bit daft and it's like, but equally, if you don't stand up and do it, then how will anybody ever really know what you stand for? Do you know what I mean? And here are the final images. Don't forget, you can find out lots more stories like this with my clients if you head on over to the Meet My Clients playlist. I'll see you next time. Mwah. Now, before you go anywhere, don't forget to subscribe. Mwah.